Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Randomness here. Look what I've got to review today. It's what's in this bag. It's an LED video light with an LCD screen and barn door from Fuzzy Town. Would like to thank for providing this for me to test, review and give my honest opinion on. You can get this light on Amazon for about £90 original price with it sometimes having discounts of up to 30% off or in a two pack bundle for about £127. I'll leave the link to those in the description below. Let's get over to the unpacking. After taking it out of the box, it's nice to see a product come in a carrier case, other than the kit and the boxes you usually get. What you get with this is the LED video light, which is nicely presented, made out of a durable aluminium alloy, with its easily removable four shutter, barn door, and easily removable white diffuser. To the rear of the light, the power module, allowing the light to be powered by two rechargeable batteries, all with a power adapter, and the LED screen, allowing you to fully and separately adjust your color, temperature, and lumen intensity. Together with the light, you get two lithium ion rechargeable batteries, two charging docks for the batteries, one power adapter to charge the light as well as charge the batteries, and the user manual. The light with its 200 mini LED bulbs is able to produce an adjustable color temperature between 3200K and 5600K, and a maximum lumen intensity of 1650 lumens. If we compare that to the premium Elgato key light, which I also have, which the visible LED light displays almost double the size of the Fuzzy 10 light, even though it uses less mini LED bulbs than the Fuzzy 10 at 160. This is able to produce an adjustable color temperature between 2900K and 7000K, meaning that you'll be able to get more of the extreme colder white and warmer white at the ends of the range with the Elgato. But I'm sure a lot of photographers and videographers work within these comparable ranges. The maximum lumen intensity of the Elgato is an ultra bright 2800 lumens. By having these two lights side by side going through the temperature and lumen ranges, you can see the minor differences at the end of the temperature ranges that the Elgato is able to get to, and the difference that those extra 1200 lumens give you with the added brightness. But once again, there are not going to be too many instances where you're gonna be using the Elgato key light at maximum intensity. Setting up the light is simple. You can choose not to have the diffuser in place and it is easily removed from its position within the light. I prefer the balanced lighting look that a diffuser gives by removing that harshness of the LED only light panel and turning it into output that is softer, giving you reduced shadows and softened hotspots. The barn doors, which are also removable, allows the emitted light to be easily shaped or focused more or less on your subject. If you don't want to use the barn doors, then they are easily detachable by the four screws inserted into the frame of the light. Together with the U-bracket and locking knobs on the side of the light, angle and 360 degree tilt adjustment can be easily made to get you to that position that you want. You can attach the whole LED light to a tripod, not supplied with a purchase, and tighten with the adjustable knob. To power the device, the power switch lets you select your power source. You can use either the supplied plug-in power adapter or use the two rechargeable batteries that can be placed into the back panel of the light. Making this light useful for outdoor work, especially with how easy the batteries are to remove, charge, and then reattach. There's nothing stopping you if you're doing a lot of mobile work from having several of these easily obtainable batteries and changing as and when required. At almost a third of the cost of the Elgato key light when you take advantage of its discounted price, the Fuzzy Tan LED light provides a great value option for you if you're looking to get a uh, first light for your setup, an upgrade to your existing setup if you are currently using static lighting, or even as an additional light to accompany one that you have already. For me in my videos, I've been using the Elgato key light and a static softbox. While the key light is fully adjustable, the softbox isn't, which means I'm working with contrasting light sources from either side. And while getting another key light would be good, the price of a second one would just be too much. So having this light from Fuzzy Tan means I'm getting the light at a fraction of the cost that it can also fully adjust to the same light settings as the Elgato, giving me that even lighting across both sides of my setup. Yes, you're not getting the mobile interactivity with the Elgato control center app, but as with any light pre-production setup, I'm manually setting the levels as I do with my Elgato before I even press the record button. So that's not really a problem. So that's this LED light from Fuzzy Tan. Not only for photography, but for videography projects as well. Perfect for portrait, product studio photography, YouTube content creation, outdoor shooting, and more. And when you finish with it, just pack it all away in the carry case. My thanks again goes to Fuzzy Tan for providing this LED light for me to review. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below? Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.